Hi, Omega Chaos here again with uh, another Yu Gi Oh! tech profile, and this time I'm showing my Galaxy Ice tech. So, this tech is pretty good, of course, it's uh, played by quite a lot enjoying the Yu Gi Oh! sex anime. I think it's a really fun deck to play, and it's uh, pretty decent as well, but obviously, it's not like super competitive or anything. So, I guess let's go this deck. So, first. Uh, Monsters, so of course, I used a triple Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon. Well, very obvious, you probably need three, but it can be sometimes tricky in this deck because I don't really use trade in in this deck right now either, but still, very poor card. Then I use one Galaxy Ice After a Glow Dragon, a very important card to be able to auto cave if your, uh, your, either your number 62 or Chaos number 62. Definitely is a really good card for this deck. Then there's one Galaxy Brave. Pretty decent extender. Not the best, but I think it's still needed in the deck. Then of course I use triple Galaxy Soldier. A very important card for this deck, obviously. It's a really good to go for your, your search or important Galaxy Monsters. Then I use two Galaxy Wizard. Obviously, to search out your Galaxy cards and of course the Searching effect is not once per turn, so if you bring it out again, you can use the tributing effect in the same turn. Then there is one Galaxy Summoner, of course, you can bring back your Galaxy or, or Photon Monsters, and also you can make one of your Photon or Galaxies level 4 as well, which means you can go for your, for your rank 4s. Then there is one Photon Emperor, another important card for the stack. Because if you send it to the graveyard and you have either a galaxy or a photon on the field or graveyard, you can summon it back from the graveyard and then you get the lingering effect that you can then get the next normal zone of a photon galaxy monster. Or any, any light monster really. But yeah, definitely a very important card. Then use triple photon orbital. Not a important card for this deck, obviously, because it's extra searching. Definitely really good. Then I use triple for a jumper. Not an important card, because obviously you can, you're able to search out your photo guys to spell trap cards with this card. As well as it's a kind of a stalling effect as well, if you from the hand. But of course it can can be a little bit uh, weird, because of course you have to skip your next spell phase. Then I use triple, photo manager. Definitely really good, yeah, really good extender. Of course you can search out your galaxy as photo dragon. The last uh, photon of axe most I use in this deck is uh, one photon rusher. I might want to play multiples, not completely sure, but this definitely is pretty good. Then some hand traps, I use triple as plus macho spring, obviously, I think you know what this card does. Then triple effect whaler, obviously pretty good as well, and also it's of course light, so you can discard it for galaxy soldier as well if you need to. Then the spells and the few traps I play. So triple, Galaxy 100. Uh, one of the main key cards in the deck now. Uh, because of course uh, you can send your photo Galaxy monster to the graveyard. And can be a kind of like a one card combo with photo jumper. Um, and of course also if you also if you put on your Galaxy as photo dragon. You can then uh, punish something from a one sex deck. Or if they have a number monster you can also spell someone. So, uh, the number monster from the extra deck as well. But mostly, well, of course, you're going to banish something. Then really, really, really good card for the stack. Then there's one Galaxy Expedition. Obviously, really good. Some of your level 5 higher Galaxy Photo Monsters. Then there's one Galaxy Trance. Not a really important combo card in the stack. But you have to be careful with this card because it, this uh, card has very heavy restriction that you can only uh, uh, summon a photo or Galaxy Monsters for the turn period, so uh, even if you something, uh, summon something other than Photon or Galaxies before activating this card, uh, you can't do it because uh, this uh, restriction applies for the whole turn. So definitely, uh, but still a really important uh, card for the stack. Then there's one Numbers Last Hope, which also always counts as a Galaxy card, so it's of course still search for each of your cards, like Photo Jumper for example. And this pretty much is another extender or a recovery card. You can just summon your two level 8s, go into a number axis monster, and then you can 6 someone uh, once more, pretty much. 
So the man is uh, pretty good. Then of course one reinforcement army. So you have quite a lot of warriors in the deck like Photo Jumper, Photo Thrasher and uh, Photo Vanisher. Then of course I use one Cold Grave as well. That's my last spell card. Obviously you want to stop your hand traps like Tron Lockbird for example. And uh, traps uh, one Eternal Galaxy. Pretty good. Especially if uh, you, you expect your opponent to run Dark Ruler. You set this, you have one of your rank 4s on the field, deactivate the Dark Ruler probably, and then after that you can then use this to go into your like number 90 or something, then you at least have like a 1 negate. And of course, the last cards in the main deck are triple, if with the balance of course, of course uh, one of the best hand traps in the game. Now let's see the next deck. You have one Galaxia Cypher Blade Dragon, which can be really good for uh, rem removal obviously, definitely really good. There's one Galaxy as full or photon dragon, the really good card that can destroy face of cards. Then of course I use one Kilma 62 Neo Galaxy as Prime Photon Dragon. One of the new boss monsters for that. And uh, with this card you can easily hold the KO plant, especially in combination with Galaxy as Photon Blue Dragon. And it's also unaffected by monster effects if you have Galaxy as Photon Dragon um, as exceed material. And of course it gains extra, extra attack as well. The really, really amazing card for this deck. Then of course I used the regular number 62 can access Prime for the Dragon. Really good as well. Um, most of the time you just use it to just go into your Chaos number 62, but uh, it can also go, of course, or decay on its own as well. The really, uh, really good. Then there was one number 107 can access Tachyon Dragon. Another classic can access card. Pretty good. I just use it if you have something more fun or something like I definitely need to negate. Uh, especially like something like Avonrax for example, if like uh, you some of the VIP Mascarena or like Minkanko, Minkankos uh, can be a problem as well. So yeah. Then use one number 90, can access for the Lord. Not a really important access for this deck with the monster negate on the X. And also can search for your Galaxy Photon cards as well in your opponent's turn. Definitely a really amazing card for this deck. Then there's one number 38, Hope Harvey and Dragon the Titanic Galaxy, obviously for the spell negate. Pretty good. Then I use one Galaxy Photon Dragon on the main rank force. This is pretty much uh, can allow you to search for any Galaxy Photon card from the deck. Or also into the graveyard if you need to. And also you can modify levels as well, if you summon a Galaxy or Photo Monster, you can make it level either 4 or 8. Then really a really amazing card for this deck. Then there's one Stylish Photon Blast Dragon, pretty good as well. Don't summon it very often, but can be very useful, useful in some situations. And for some non-Galaxy Exis Monsters, of course I use that Divine Asus Sky Hunter. Obviously good for any Exis deck. Then I use one number 41, Pakuska, Tremor Tower Taper, which is pretty much uh, if I get shifter or rolled, uh, this card can be very useful to stall for at least one turn, so you can at least play uh, the game pretty much, because shifter and, uh, and troll can be very devastating for this deck. Then I use one number 39, Utopia Rising, which can be really good to revive your numbers from the graveyard, like number 38 or number 90 or anything like that, so then we'll use a pretty good card for this deck. Then I use the last deck, this in the next deck is one Evil Excellent Knight. I think it's pretty good, because in certain situations uh, you can just wipe out all the cards your opponent has, if they have more cards in their hand or in the field, so it can be definitely a very clutch card in some situations. And the last card in the extra deck are the Link Monsters 2, Galaxia is Solfer Dragon. This of course is part of your end board. You discard like Galaxia is Photon Dragon, you can destroy one plus one monster. Uh, you have your one controls. Of course you can also discard just the Galaxia and uh, a Photon uh, monster, but most of the time you just want to discard the Galaxia is Photon Dragon you have in your hand, and which is pretty, of course, pretty easy to get to your hand, of course. And of course you can recycle your Photon Galaxy monster from the graveyard as well with this card. So that uh, was text deck. So now I show you the one of the main combos in the deck. Now let's show you one of the main combos in the deck. 
or pretty much the best combo for this deck. You need three cards just to get the maximum amount of disruptions. A crack soldier for a jumper and any extender really, but we use for the vanishing in this case. So we're just going to use Kyrax's soldier and discarding the photon jumper. It's plus on it. Then Jenny one, crack soldier and Jenny two for the jumper. So if for the jumper, we're going to search out Galaxy hundred. And if Galaxy soldier, we're going to search out. Galaxy Wizard. So the order of the activations doesn't really matter that much in this case. But let's first activate Galaxy 100. And we're going to send a photo lamp to the Rayward. Then activate on Rayward and summoning it. And we get text normal summon this turn. Then again, there's one for the nation as well. Then activate the effect to search out the access photo dragon. Then also one can access with that. And three putting it. A search for can access on one. Of course, you get text on someone again, on someone again. Summoner, activate the effects. Someone back to get access with that. And then we can activate Galaxy Wizard again. So we will it to search for Galaxy Drands. Then we can exceed someone with these two. For Galaxy Photon Dragon. Detach. Search for Tron Galaxy. Then you can link some with these two. Go for Galaxy is Salt for Dragon. Like with effect. And that is on back to hand. Let's just add Galaxy up back to our hand. Don't uh, really matter which one. Just need to get, get the Emperor Graveyard. Then activate Galaxy Trans and targeting the Emperor. Of course, pay two some life points as well. You can summon either Galaxy or Swat, another Galaxy as Photon Dragon. But uh, in a lot of cases, I just uh, want to get after go from my deck, so I have it in the graveyard for next turn if I want to use last hope numbers to go for what the K. So that is your hand, then you can exceed someone, the number 38. Obviously if you want to play on our Nibiru, you can also go into your number 90 at this point, but in most cases they would have already Nibiru at this point if they actually know how to play against, against this deck. So we're going to go for number 38. And then you're going to set your Eternal Galaxy. So this is your hand. And this is your field. And then you pass your, your turn. So you have Disruption. Uh, from Soul Therapy, because you have Galaxy as Photon Dragon in your hand. Then of course you have Spender Gate. And also if they drop Dark Ruler or anything like that, you still have Entera Galaxy, or if they do anything else, like this. To go into number 90, then after Eternal Galaxy has resolved, go and activate Photon Lord to search for Photon Galaxy card, and to go in Source 3, that's Galaxy's card, you search for Lost of Numbers for recovery play. Which means that probably if they can't finish you out uh, in this turn, you're going to auto decay your opponent next turn. So that's your final hand and your final board. So you have, then you have most negate 
as well. That one is really good. Obviously, it's not a completely broken combo or anything, but it's very solid and uh, most decks can't really play through it. So that's it uh, for my uh, Galaxy Stack profile. Uh, again, it's very fun. It's pretty good, but it's probably not the most competitive. So uh, for now, goodbye and Omekios. Out.